15 3 weather with Tom Kiffin. 906 Weather Watcher photo from Marion Bowers Taylor here from the past week, and you can see just a lot of snow loss. We do have some slush left over. And 24 deer, she said, on the 906 Weather Watchers post here. You can see the deer all out and about. And this does bring up a good point here with the snow melt that we've lost. Some of the deer may be edging a little bit closer to the road. I know I did see some deer last night on the way back from Green Bay from the Packers game last night. So just be aware the deer are going to be out here with some grass and some mud that are out there. So they're going to be out grazing around here as we see this thaw continue. But thanks, Marianne, for sending that in. If you'd like to join our 906 Weather Watcher photo group on Facebook, we'd love to have you. You can send in photos like Marianne does. You can send them to our WJM and Local 3 Facebook group, 906 Weather Watchers, and they'll be on the news. Becca and I would love to show them off during Local 3 News. All right, Local 3 Radar Network, some snow trying to get going in the eastern UP, and we do have more snow back on off towards the south and west here, and I wouldn't be surprised that some snow is flying around in Menominee and Marinette, widening out the view here. This is actually the lead leading edge of a storm system here. You can see some snow just to the south of Green Bay and then more snow and even freezing rain back across the central plains here. What we got going is two things going on an Arctic high pressure and this is what's really going to win out here as we go by the towards the end of the week. And then on the bottom left hand corner of your TV screen, that's the storm system here that's going to head this way as we go through the next couple of days and bring us rain or wintry precipitation. As this high drifts into northern Ontario, it's going to keep this area of low pressure to the south and it is also going to weaken it slowly here as we go through the end of the week and we're not really looking at much in the way of heavy snow. Yes, the snow is going to fly around and yes, we'll see some sleet, freezing rain or rain, but we're not looking at much much in the way of widespread long duration heavy precipitation out of this storm system. Temperatures, no Arctic cold to be seen. Definitely we can be colder as we head into the new year, but we got temperatures at the freezing mark for Escanaba, Manistique, Munising, 29 for Sawyer International and 29 degrees for Houghton. Officially at the Weather Service today, we have a high temperature of 30, a low temperature of 28. Downtown Marquette at the U.S. Coast Guard, temperatures didn't move much. 33 was today's high and 30 was today's low. Three things to know. No major weather issues tonight. Tomorrow we're going to have wintry precipitation or rain and that wintry precipitation, especially as we get into tomorrow night and Wednesday, may include some wet snow. So if you do have any plans on removing the snow and if you do have health issues such as heart issues, back issues, please seek some help. This isn't going to be the fluffy snow. This is going to be the wet, wetter type of slushy snow. We're also going to see some gusty winds, but it's going to be nowhere close to what we saw a day or two before Christmas. Christmas as that blizzard moved on through the UP. So future weather the rest of the night, some snow moves on through, especially towards Menominee and Marinette. And then as we go into tomorrow, I'm going to stop it here tomorrow afternoon about 435. You can see some precipitation lifting from south to north, but even after four o'clock Eastern tomorrow, don't be surprised. Grand Marais, Munising, Marquette, Big Bay, Barraga, over towards Houghton and Copper Harbor. Don't be surprised if you don't see anything flying yet. The snow may not arrive until tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening, though, is when I think we see the bulk of the snow, the sleet, the freezing rain. Even some rain can't be ruled out closer to Lake Michigan. And then with the slow movement of this storm system going through Wisconsin and lower Michigan, that's going to keep some wintry precipitation in our weather forecast for Wednesday and a few snow showers in our forecast for Thursday. Day. Future snowfall here, nothing to speak of tonight or tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening, that's when the numbers start to add on up here. Lesser amounts, Keweenaw, eastern UP, and in the south central UP, closer to the Bay of Green Bay. But as you can see, as you go west, the numbers definitely add on up here. And then as we go into Wednesday, the numbers are going to add up a little bit more. And in fact, we could see some heavy wet snow numbers here in the higher terrain of Marquette County. And also as you go into the the western UP. Tonight's forecast temperatures aren't moving far across the UP tonight. We'll see temperatures in the 20s and 30s around 30 or the 30s as you go towards the eastern UP. For Marquette, 27 degrees tonight, 29 for Escanaba and Gladstone, 26 Iron Mountain and 28 for Houghton and Hancock. For Marquette, 32 degrees for Tuesday, 31 Wednesday, 25 on Thursday and then 26 as we go into the daytime on Friday and then temperatures will be in the 20s this weekend. For Escanaba and Gladstone, we're looking at 35 for Tuesday, 34 for Wednesday, 28 Thursday, 28 also on Friday, upper 20s to around 34 Saturday and Sunday with drier weather conditions. As we go to 
Iron Mountain Kingsford. We're looking at 33 Tuesday, 33 on Wednesday, and then you can see temperatures turning colder as we go into Thursday and Friday, but not serious cold. Just typical January weather with temperatures in the 20s. Just enough to know that you definitely need the winter coat. And then for the weekend, we're looking at temperatures in the 20s to around 30. Last stop here, Houghton and Hancock, 32 for Tuesday, 30 for Wednesday, 26 as we go into the daytime on Thursday, Friday 27, and then perhaps a few snow showers lingering into Saturday 26. For everybody, the precipitation will become lighter and lighter if you hang on to some snow towards the end of the week, and temperatures will become chillier, but the Arctic air is nowhere to be found as we go towards the end of the week and into the weekend. Yes, it does turn colder, but not seriously cold. Becca, we'll send it back over to you.